It seems that there's not all that much we know in regards to black holes. We know it's a dense object in which no light can set its foot out. And given that no light can escape, it's led scientists and astronomers to believe that anything that gets sucked into a black hole has absolutely no way of coming back out. In fact, we don't even know what or where the black hole leads to and what happens when you get sucked into one. We've made educational guesses and studied them since first discovering them more than a millennial ago in 1916. Still, we don't know all that much about this dark cosmic vacuum and have spent the majority of our research trying to understand what happens to things around black holes right until they vanish into thin air. Or should we say thin vacuum? There isn't any air present in space, right? So as you can imagine, if the Earth happened to get sucked into the black hole, it definitely wouldn't bode well for any of us. So today, on our channel, we have the question. Let's assume the Earth gets sucked into a black hole. So fasten your seatbelts and get subscribed, and let's travel into another ride to outer space. At the end of a star's life, we're talking about billions of years. Eventually, the star runs out of fuel to burn through and it collapses into itself, forming a small, dense point. This is the heart of the black hole. This is where the unknown happens. What we do know is that at the heart of the black hole, it's incredibly dense, and the strength of the black hole depends on what kind of black hole we're talking about. First, the smaller black holes are the stellar mass black holes and have a mass 10 times the size of the sun. Then there are the supermassive black holes, which we don't know all that much about, aside from the fact that they're found at the center of galaxies and have a mass that can weigh millions or even billions the weight of the sun. The Earth entering a black hole would be terrible news, and how quickly things got destroyed would be determined on the size of the black hole. But if Earth entered a stellar mass black hole or a supermassive one, I think it's safe to say we'd all die. As previously mentioned, we don't know that much about black holes. From a scientific standpoint, the scientific term is spaghettification. What happens when something enters a black hole is exactly that. Things get compressed horizontally while simultaneously being stretched vertically, making the object appear to look like spaghetti. So it seems as if the Earth entered a black hole, things would slowly start to get stretched and compressed at the same time. Odds are that we'd notice a shift in gravity as the Earth would begin moving much quicker than usual. Given that we'd enter into a new, stronger gravitational pull than that of the Sun, everything on Earth would drastically change before anything turns into long string noodles. For example, there wouldn't be much sunlight, if any at all, and there'd be no concept of waves or tides in the sea because the Moon no longer appears either. And all in all, the entire world would be apocalyptic before we reach the center of the black hole. And frankly, at that point, there wouldn't be a single remnant left of Earth or its existence. But here's the great thing about black holes. We think we know what happens when things go inside them, but we don't know for sure. Theoretically, somehow, some way, Earth goes through a black hole, and we all think we're inevitably going to die. So likely some people take the initiative and do themselves in out of fear. The inevitable will be much more painful. But for those of us who somehow find a way to survive, we find out what's on the other end of a black hole. Assuming it's not death and destruction, maybe it's an alternative reality. Perhaps we get thrown into a new universe or galaxy where things are similar, or maybe they're entirely different. There's so much unknown about it that all we can do is speculate. But for a more scientific explanation, I'm going to quote Alberto Diaz, a particle physics student from the University of Warsaw. This is where we get very tricky and bizarre. From our perspective, nothing would happen at the beginning since we'll be falling very slowly, just like we're ever so slightly falling into the sun. But currently, as we get closer to the black hole, the tidal forces would be so great that Earth would no longer stay in one piece and separate into smaller chunks, kind of like asteroids falling into the black hole. This happens because the difference in gravitational attractions between different parts of Earth would be much greater than the forces keeping it together. Now, as always, guys, let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. What do you think would happen if the Earth got sucked into a black hole? 
get subscribed to the channel to watch more of our videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.